Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go how to set up the automatic feed and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom into the actual apron area of the mill, or I mean of the lathe, and we're going to go ahead and show you how the controls work to turn it on and off. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to look over here at this base plate right here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom into it right now. Okay, so the main things that I want to point out to you on this one are um, this, these, first, these first two, this one right here and this one, are set up for the feed rates for the, for the actual threading purposes. This bottom one down here is all about setting up the feed rates for just general lathe work, okay? So we're going to zoom really close into that. Okay, so the first things that I want to point out to you are the, how to set this thing up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say I want to run at, um, I think it's the typical one that we use is this this one down here near the ed, end is it's .0056 and that's like, I guess I'd be like five thousandths of an inch forward travel for every revolution, okay? So the first thing I'm going to point out to you, if we wanted to set it up for this setting down here, is we're going to make sure the the um, machine is set in the I, the machine is also set in the Y section, and the, also set to LR1. So really quickly, I'm going to zoom back out and we're going to go over how to set up the machine for that. But if you ever need any of these settings, pretty much you need to make sure that the machine is set up in the I, Y, and then whatever these numbers or letters are saying right here. Okay? And the difference between right here, you have all of the metrics metric movements per revolution and all of the inch movements per revolution okay and these are just one side is just more variable or more amounts I mean these are different numbers here than over here it's just how fast you want to move maybe depending on what type of material you're working on okay so I'm gonna zoom back out okay so I'm back out here and we're gonna quickly go through how to set this up so remember I said it needs to be set in I and Y so Looking down here, the first thing, uh, the I is actually Roman numeral number one. I always say I, but it's Roman numeral one, number one, which is located on this dial right here. There's I, B, and A, but we want it to be on I. So we're going to make sure it's all the way over here. This is one time you might put it into high gear or in, um, into neutral just to get all the gears to go in, put in. So the next thing we have set up, we're going to do, is set it up in the Y position. So the Y position is over here, and it's, this, it's just the second one up. So we're going to go ahead, and what I do is I always push it to the, the very edge, and then I bring it back one, okay? So now it's in the Y position. Again, I'm rotating that chuck as we're going along here. Next, we're going to go L, R, 1. So that L up here is just between the low and the high. Um, you can notice the really fast ones over here are actually in the high setting, okay? But typically what we're going to do is going to be in low. This very rarely gets changed. Um, and then we're going to do R1. So the R is right here. And we're going to make sure, again, we're going to go ahead and rotate the chuck, make sure it pops in the gear. And then we're going to make sure it's in the one setting, okay? This one's already set up in one, so we're good to go there. And that's how you set up the machine. Now I'm going to go over running it really quick. Okay, so we got the front of the apron here, and we're going to go ahead and flip this machine on. Oops, i got to make sure it's turned on first. Looks like we got it running at a pretty high gear, but that's all right. Um, notice this shaft here is spinning. This shaft is what controls that automatic feed. Um, the shaft above it, this, um, this Acme thread, is what we use for threading. It's going to be a lot faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this black knob is all the way pulled out. If it's not all the way out and it rotated around a little bit, it'll easily pop out. And then this lever right here is what controls our automatic feed. We're going to go ahead and push it down and you can see now the handle is spinning by itself. And then we're just going to pop it off when we're done. We'll go ahead and restart it. Let it feed to whatever amount you want. Pop it off. I typically tell new students to just keep their hands on the lever at all times, that way they don't accidentally confuse it with this one. So again, on, off, and you can go ahead and turn it off. And that's everything you need to know about automatic feeds on the lathe.